क्वेश्चन नंबर 95 इफ 4.8 रेस्ट टू द पावर एक्स इज इक्वल टू 0.48 रेस्ट टू द पावर वाई इज इक्वल टू 1000 देन द वैल्यू ऑफ 1 अपॉन एक्स माइनस 1 अपॉन वाई इज 3 माइनस 3 1 अपॉन 3 और माइनस 1 अपॉन 3 वी हैव बीन गिवन 4.8 रेस्ट टू द पावर एक्स इज इक्वल टू 0.48 रेस टू दी पावर वाई इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड नाउ इफ आई रिमूव पॉइंट हियर देन इट विल बी टेन इन द डिनोमिनेटर हियर इफ आई रिमूव पॉइंट हियर देन इट विल बी हंड्रेड इन द डिनोमिनेटर दिस आई ऑप्टेन नाउ सिंप्लीफाई दिस दिस इंप्लाइज फोर्टी एट रेस टू दी पावर एक्स अपॉन टेन टू दी पावर एक्स इज इक्वल टू 48 raised to the power y upon 10 raised to the power 2 is 100 so it will be 2y this is equal to 1000 which can be written 10 to the power 3 this we obtain now if I compare first with third this one then 48 raised to the power x is equal to 10 raised to the power 3 into 10 to the power x and if I compare this second one, middle one, with the last one, we, I obtain 48 raised to the power y is equal to 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 2y. This we have obtained. Now, 48 from first equation can be written 10 to the power 3 upon x into 10. That is, I have put the power 1 upon x both the sides so left hand side will be 48 here 10 to the power 3 upon x and here 10 to the power x upon x that is 1 so I have written 10 here similarly 48 can be written this is equal to I have put power as 1 upon y both the sides so it will be 10 upon 10 to the power 3 upon y into 10 to the power 2y upon y that is 2 this we obtain now 48 is equal to this and 48 is equal to this means right hand side will also be equal so 10 to the power 3 upon x into 10 this is equal to 10 to the power 3 upon y into 10 to the power 2 Multiplication is there, so powers will be added. This implies 10 to the power 3 upon x plus 1. This is equal to 10 to the power 3y plus 2. This we obtain means powers are equal. Powers are equal because the base are equal both the sides. So 3 upon x plus 1 is equal to 3 upon y plus 2. This gives us 3 upon x minus 3 upon y is equal to 1. We transpose this on the left hand side. So it will be of minus sign. 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 I can take common. 1 upon x minus 1 upon y will be in the bracket. This is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 upon x minus 1 upon y is equal to 1 upon 3. This 3 will come on right hand side in the denominator. So the value of 1 upon x minus 1 upon y is 1 upon 3 and hence our option C here is correct option. Question number 96. If x to the power 2a minus 3 into y to the power 2a is equal to x to the power 6 minus a into y to the power 5a then the value of a log x upon y is four options are given to us in this manner we have been given the equation x to the power 2a minus 3 into y to the power 2a is equal to x to the power 6 minus a into y to the power 5a we take all x terms one side and y terms another side. So this implies 
x to the power 2a minus 3 upon this will come in the denominator by cross multiplication x to the power 6 minus a this is equal to y to the power 5a upon y to the power 2a y to the power 2a is there on the left hand side by cross multiplication it will come on the right hand side in the denominator simplify this x to the power 2a minus 3 when power 6 minus a is in the denominator when it goes up then its sign will be changed so it will be minus 6 plus a this is equal to y to the power 5a minus 2a simplify this so x to the power 3a minus 3 this is equal to minus 9 this is equal to y to the power 3a. This we obtain. This implies x to the power 3 I can take common a minus 3. This is equal to y to the power 3a. Now I apply power 1 by 3 both the sides. So x raised to the power a minus 3. This is equal to y raised to the power a because I have taken power I have taken cube root both the sides or in another word I have put the power 1 by 3 both the sides this implies x to the power a into x to the power minus 3 this is equal to y to the power a I have split it x raised to the power a minus 3 into 2 which is x to the power a into x to the power minus 3 cross multiply this will go in the denominator and when I cross multiply this this will y to the power a will come on the left hand side in the denominator this implies x upon y whole to the power a is equal to 1 upon x to the power minus 3 which can be written x to the power 3 now I take log both the sides so taking log both sides a log x upon y this will be my left hand side a is there in the power because we have the rule that log of m to the power n is equal to n log m with this rule it will be a log x upon y when I take log on right hand side it will be 3 log x so the value of a log x upon y is 3 log x and hence our option a here is correct option. Question 97 if x is equal to e to the power n minus e to the power minus n upon e to the power n plus e to the power minus n then the value of n is options are given to us like this. Now x is given this value so first we apply componendo dividendo because here in options we see that the options are of the form in which 1 plus x 1 minus x are given. So apply componendo dividendo applying componendo and dividendo. We obtain because here x is there so x upon 1 is there so we do x plus 1 upon x minus 1 this is equal to e raised to the power n minus e raised to the power minus n first this is added so plus e to the power n plus e to the power minus n upon e raised to the power minus n minus e raised to the power minus n then it is subtracted e to the power n minus e raised to the power minus n because we know that if a upon b is equal to c upon d then component of dividendo says that it is a plus b upon a minus b is equal to c plus d upon c minus d now we simplify it so this is cancelled 
here e raised to the power n is cancelled. We obtain this is equal to 2 raised to 2 into e raised to the power n upon minus 2 into e raised to the power minus n. Now 2 and 2 are cancelled. We obtain this is equal to e raised to the power n upon e raised to the power minus n with negative sign here. This is equal to I can write it as 1 plus x upon minus 1 plus x. This is what we can obtain. Now minus is here. So minus we can multiply here in the denominator and minus can be removed. So this is equal to this implies 1 plus x upon minus is multiplied. So it is minus 1 minus x. Because here we see that in the options we have 1 plus x upon 1 minus x. This I have framed in this manner. This is equal to e raised to the power n and then this will go in the top, power will become positive, it is 2n. This is what we are obtaining. Now, n is there in the power and we want the value of n. So obviously we have to take log both the sides. So taking log both sides, we obtain log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x to the base e is equal to 2n because definition of log is that if we have a to the power x is equal to m then we can write it x is equal to log m to the base a that is here base a comes here as base a so here e is there as base and here e is there as base in the indices. So here log will have base e. Now 2 will come here in the denominator that will give us the value of n. So this implies n is equal to 1 upon 2 log of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x to the base e. Now this is our required value of n. When we see the options, our option a is the correct option. Option A says value of n is 1 upon 2 log 1 plus x upon 1 minus x to the base e. So option A here is the correct option.